How you doing tonight? Welcome to Life with Belsa. I'm your host, Friggin' Belsa. Today on the Belsa Show, we uh, we brought Trevor's car out here to have some maintenance done on it. We're gonna, you know, check the tire pressure and make sure the the valve stems are in the right spot and stuff like that. And hopefully everything works out. But anyways, as you can see, he's uh, he's just uh, checking the air pressure for the turbocharger. <laughs> oh. That's all we can see of that, obviously. But he's just checking the air pressure for the turbocharger. No, it's out here because we lost oil pressure. Oh, is that why he's here? Yeah. Oh, see? He can say it, I can't. I don't know what's really going on. here before we did too much damage and hopefully we can save it. But Free. I, need, I need to get my keys for the bread. But the reason why I brought you to the camera here is because that guy right there knows what he's doing. <laughs> That's the only reason. Right? What are you building, bud? Uh, I got a Colorado with a six liter in it that we're putting a big 475 on currently. Cool. Under the knife. Leave your comments down below if you want to see more of that. Maybe he'll let me have a little booski at her, but we'll have to see. Invite only. But anyways, Trevor wanted to show me his truck. You Check out the old truck of Ruski he bought here. It's freaking decent. He's gonna start it up, maybe. It's got a 350 and you think it's gonna start? It's got a 350 small block for sale if anybody's looking for one. Uh -oh. The lights are on, does that mean it's gonna start? Maybe not. You gotta give her the old carburetor pump. Oh, f***ing right you do. Oh! Jesus, I need to pump this <laughs> on all three. <laughs> Freak! What does the 30 stand for? There she goes. Jesus Christ, is that a PA? All over. 10-4? Why wouldn't you? <laughs> That's awesome. So what are you doing with it, Trev? What's your plans? Uh, Stan? Basically, it's gonna be a camper slash tow truck. What are you putting in for engine? Uh, we're gonna put a twin turbo LS in it that we were building for the other car. Awesome. That we sold. And he's got 22 inch Transits. Steelys yeah. transits for it that and are gonna bags. go right there and Air airbags. Yeah. Oh. So leave your comments down below if you want to see that in action. Maybe Trev will let us in on it. Yeah, he'll be over. There you go, see? We're so pulling we, the, We're pulling the cab off next weekend. Next yeah. weekend, we're pulling the cab, he's pulling the cab off. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Gonna be You're show. pulling the whole cab off. We're pull, pull, rolling that frame right in that door there and that's where we're bagging it. Okay, yeah, we gotta be here for a little footage there. If you wanna, you gotta leave your comments down below if you wanna, right Trev? <laughs> yeah. If you don't wanna then, it is hey, what it is. Make sure you check your oil pressure before you go out for a rip in your race car. Yes, that's always a good idea. Tip of the day from Trevor. Check your f***ing oil pressure. Thank you! Oh, the car, sorry, I thought you meant my truck. Apologize. You should see the car in his pants. Yeah, it's just a little fucking smart car. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this was just a quick little video I wanted to show you and I wanted to pop on here and give you an update of this and that and the other thing, see what you kind of people want. Eh? What kind of people they want. Is that what kind of stuff you want? Just leave your comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button. Why wouldn't you? But have a good night. I'm gonna. We're gonna have some pizza. I better call or, uh... Better order some pizza. We're gonna eat some pizza and do this, that, and the other thing. So have a good night. Don't do anything I wouldn't do and... You know what to do for now. Back to the Bilsip show. This is how you get to know Bilsip. Let me just start your show. Boredom. Anybody help you? No. What happened with you and Buddy? Oh, for Six. Nothing. You know, Just uh, we went our own separate ways there because uh, I was too busy. You know I met that guy, right? This, that, the other. Remember when I was doing oil spray? Oh yeah. He come to my house and I had no idea who he was. He drives his van in. Well, actually, I, I got the van and I brought it close to the garage and holy crap, it did ever stick like me. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was cool. Hey, you mind if I uh, videotape? <laughs> I'm like, sure. He 
brings out his little camera and he's got the little mustache on the camera. Yeah, it's a microphone. I was, like, so I was looking at Mike, I was like, the f*** is this? But yeah, I ended up getting our own little video on his show too. Good for you. Did you see it? No. I quit. Yeah, no. Here's another one. What are your plans with your show? To go with the flow. Go with the flow. It is to do what I do when I want to do it at that time of day. So you don't have any certain so content you want to get? It's too hard because I don't have enough money to spend on one thing for content. Like it takes money to do one thing all the time on your channel. You know what I mean? Like you always have to like f buy for that shit. shit yeah. Even RCs, yeah. Like you can only do so much RCing when you don't have buddies that do RCing. You like you go up by yourself, you do a fucking RCs. How long does that get exciting? I love to fucking build engines all the time, but I don't have money for it, so you can't dedicate a channel to something you can't afford, right? We're not all Cletus McFarland here, okay? Yeah, no. Fuck. We don't just buy hovercrafts because we can. He got in at the right time, that's for he sure. He did so. But well, he is good at what he does, too. He is right? so, yeah. That milk truck is going to go do a burnout at Cletus and Cars one day. Is it? Yeah, one Can I year, go? It's, yeah. There you go. I'm going to blow off those tires at Cletus and Cars. Are you coming? Yeah, he'll yeah. be there with Yeah, he's coming, too. He picked the perfect spot to sit in the Bilsum truck because you can't see him over there. Yeah, I really want to go down there and burn off a set of tires. If I don't do it with the milk truck, it'll be with the car on the trailer. Tow it down there. I'm gonna go Colorado? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go f up white trash and James in the burnout car. That is the coolest one of them. It is, oh yeah. Especially, I, like, I love the especially, zoomies. Yeah, especially with the zoomies. I was gonna say. You know what's funny is I was following him for years. He's got an S13, right? It says IDS on the side. Yep. So I followed him for years. I had no clue that was even him. And one day, like I didn't really watch Cletus much, but I did. And then one day I'm watching a fucking episode. There's James, and he's getting into his car, and I'm like, no friggin' way. I'm like, so I messaged him real quick. I'm like, yo, that's actually you on Cletus's show. He's like, yeah. I followed him for years. I asked him questions about how to set my car up for drag racing and all that stuff. Oh, right? I talked cool. to him a bunch before I even knew who he was. I had no idea. Is he not building a burnout car the same as the car you have? It's up on the hoist. And you can see the taillights. I'm like, I swear to God, it's your car. Or drifting. Mine's basically sorry, a drifting burnout car, car, too. Drifting car, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm not, in, I'm not into drifting. It does look fun, though. I like burning tires, but I just don't get the whole drifting thing. No, you don't go any faster, really. Well, uh, some of those guys get around pretty quick, but... Canadian version of drifting is let's go bash our cars together. I'm not into that. I like to have my car clean. I like to, you know, as clean as it can be for what it is. I'm not into demolition derby. Oh, so the guys over here don't know how to drive, so they just run into each other. No, right? they just, they're seeing, they're seeing <laughs> kids, or whatever yeah, you want to yeah, call it, right? Whatever's cool for the grand, bro. Yeah. Tap your door, bro. Yeah, it's sick, bro. No, it's not really. <laughs> no. Can't believe I cooked another motor over something stupid. Every time it's something stupid. We spent all day doing maintenance on that thing to get it ready, you know, go racing. That if sucks. we would have just fired up the computer when I left the house and he would have noticed, oh, we got no oil pressure, we could have dealt with it right then instead of, oh shit, the motor's making noise. I feel bad, I feel like almost not my fault for that. Because when you put it out on the road, I said to you, that it sounds loud, remember? Well, we talked about it earlier, it's been a, it's been a thing. Yeah, like, since What's I put that? those big ass cams in, oh, it's okay. been a little noisy. Because when you put it out on the road, I said, F it sounds noisy. My normal method is to change the oil, fire the thing up, and bang it off the two steps. Fuck as soon so, as we revved the shit out of it on the side of the road yeah. there, the oil pressure came back just like that. Oh, so you think you did the damage before that? Oh yeah, yeah. It, was, it was so noisy when we were driving down there. That's why I pulled over. It well, we opened the laptop off as soon as we just to confirm, but we couldn't see oil pressure, so we were like, the computer could see it, so. And then as soon as it turned on, it said, one PSI, I'm like, oh, turned it off, pulled over. Well, Trevor, you called it. You said this thing's going to seize up now. Yeah. So was that pump electric? Mechanical, which we don't understand why it did that. So it was actually wasn't moving? Or is it just not priming? There was a gear lock somewhere in yeah. the filter? or? Because the nice thing about electric is you can prime the whole engine, right? Yeah. Well, I, I usually run an AccuSump, which is another thing I don't have on my car. An AccuSump would have saved that motor. Is that what it does, prime it? Yeah, yeah. that's what it does. Fire it up, it's full. And as soon as you turn the key, it fires in two or three liters of oil into the main bearings, and then it fills itself back up until it reaches a certain pressure, and then it holds it. Right?